see the body lifts up on the front. So I think I'm going to have to body lift the back mount maybe a couple of millimeters. All right, here's the progress on the body lift. Um, I just took a reamer and reamed out uh, some relocated holes here, put the screws through, um, gave me a chance to recenter it from the factory. They had this uh, drilled out a little bit off center. Um, so, you know, I just used this as a guide and a Sharpie to mark them. And uh, <clears throat> so I'll get it all back on there, test fit it, and let's see what it looks like. All right, and there we are with it mounted uh, with the body lift. So you can see now we pretty much leveled that out with the uh, slider. And you can see back here, just a little gap. So. Yeah, I think we're riding. Red pretty nice now, so now time for the lights. But here's all the electronics. This is kind of the next step. Um, so Bang RC, got the front and rear light mounts. Uh, I sent me a gray rear, I wanted the black. Um, so I got two of those. And then I'm gonna use this Orlando Hunter light bar and mount that on the front bumper. And then from Lighthouse LEDs, I've got this little uh, 20 milliamp LED driver to bring the power down to uh, this, I think those are Lando Hunters work off of three volts. Um, and I've got some flat tops here. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, some shrink wrap. I've got some pre-wired here because I've got this light bar that I'll basically have to build and wire up if I use it on the roof. Then I've got the Club 5 uh, switch here for the third channel so I can run, you know, one, one thing off this, A or B or A and B together. So that may be the switching for the top light bar and the front light bar. And then the plan is to have lights in the bumper uh, right down here in the pods and then headlights and then tail lights as well in the back. So the headlights, tail lights may always be on, and then I may put the front light bar and bumper lights on the A channel, and then the light bar on top on the B channel, so I can light this rig up. Well, uh, working on the rear lights here, and luckily they did send me the wrong piece initially because I'm having to cut one up to do a test fit. Um, as you can see here, I took a little height off of the bucket and then uh, cut it off the arm and I'm using some 3M uh, double-sided to see if I can test fit that and the issue was um, you can see this very well but they mount right there and since I did a body lift I lowered that mount so that puts uh, yeah, that would put this piece sitting lower than the light buckets uh, and then there's also the issue of the rear inner fenders and clearance and uh, I think with the body lift this will work um, that's why I'm trying to take a little depth out of these um, so I'm gonna test fit this guy and if it works then I'll cut up the black one uh, and, and install these guys for real well the uh, test fit seems to work well I had to carefully uh, kind of bend the leads coming out of the LED, you know, close to 90 to get those to come up over that arch, but it uh, closes easily. So looks like I'm going to cut up the black one. Okay, you can see I got this uh, trimmed up here, got the depth taken out where it just fits the LED and then once I put some tape on there it'll add a little more depth. Get this one done. This one looks a hair uneven. Back to the sandpaper here. So that's where we are. All right, here we are. Got the front uh, headlights in, the white bar, 
the bucket lights and the bumper. Uh, I ended up putting the stickers on the door handles. I took the stickers for the side vents, cut those out, and added a little detail on the front. Uh, I think that looks kind of cool. And then I added the body lift to the rear to level out the side. Um, as you can see there, now we're straight along here. And you can see the body lift there on the back. And then I've got the, uh, I guess you can't see them. We've got the LEDs in the back. Um, they're red as well. <clears throat> so I just wanted to give a quick shot of this before I potentially ruin it by installing the roof light bar. And I've got the body back off. Uh, here's what it looks like underneath. I just used the stock uh, lights that were in the bumper and relocated those to the headlights. And it was tight. Um, getting those to widen out around the mount and fit in there. So I've just got some electrical tape holding those on. Um, and then I've got the rears. I've got a dab of super glue on the LEDs, just hair to keep those in. And then, you know, some shrink wrap routing. And then this guy is the, you know, plugs into one of the light ports. So now the scary part, turn up the roof. So I've got my holes marked on the roof to mount the light bar. You can see right there which mounting the light bar is not the scary part it's uh it's routing all of these guys into the body somehow and how do i do that uh so the light bar scale but all of these three millimeter leds coming out the back aren't very scale so i've been thinking about how to do that whether it's bringing those together into one hole or trying to turn those down each into their individual holes so there'd be five little wire holes behind it. Um, so that's something I'm still debating. Okay, here we are. All the lights are installed. Got the headlights in, bumper lights, the Orlando Hunter tiny little light bar on the bumper, and then this 3D printed custom built one that I think came out super slick. I think that's about as scale as you can get that and clean. Um, so anyways, let me open it up. Give a little shot of the inside. So everything's routed, uh, tucked. You can see the, the bumper lights come up and around and down. And then the, everything kind of routes over this fender well down and then you can see the lights coming through. You got the headlights on the servo extension there so those can unplug up there easily. And then uh, LEDs come through the roof. And just everything's kind of got some shrink wrap to hold all the wires together cleanly. So yeah, everything is easily uh, demountable. You can unplug everything if you need to take the body off which, you know, that happens quite a bit. Um, so anyways, the question is, what does this thing look like fired up? All right, here we are. Let's get these bad boys, uh, let's see if they, let's see if they make any difference. Oh yeah. Nice. I've got the yellow uh, bumper lights for the fog lights down low. Let's get everything on. Nice. 
That looks great. All right, so lighting, lighting phase is complete. Back to performance and scale uh, trail accessories. Man, I just cannot be happier with that. Sweet. Now I just gotta get my spare on there.